hello welcome this is discovering what channel thank you for your contribution thank you for what you have done so far thank you for subscribing to the channel your comments i appreciate so much this is only help us to grow more page and also to uh, give the best we have i am going to talk about something very important today and i know some of you are very aware of this the past years now we're talking about uh, self generators and many have been doubting many have been giving a lot of nasty comments about self generators some say it's not possible it doesn't exist they love that love this but i want to tell you that the self generator exists it's working we have experimented it i will say it to be working and i believe in subsequent population i'm going to see practical of that but today i'm going to talk about something very important and that is simple step on how to convert generator to full generator how you can convert hello viewers today we're going to discuss something very important we're going to discuss about the fuel generator and fuel generator fuel generator and fuel generator you know the two look the same most of the time and people misunderstood the two because they almost have the same configuration just like what you see now in this place we have the engine and the electric motor and here also have the engine the electric motor and the automate on the uh, the the alternator and the electric motor this is the this is the engine and this is the the generator here we have the electric motor and the generator the two of them look the same they both have tanks and whatever but one of the difference you have to know is that in fuel generator in fuel generator the tank is of no use it's not functioning it's just there for fancy why in the fuel generator the tank is being used to store fuel so the two may look the same but they have different functions and different configuration so let's proceed to the next slide to know better now what is fuel generator when for the benefit of those who are in the United States of America UK or Germany you may not have good idea of what fuel generator is about because they are used to coastal light and many of them may not even have access to generators because they have no power house station but the country like Africa and Asia or India mostly suburbans you know that they have problem of power, sort, uh, power outage and most of them uses most of them use a petroleum generator so petroleum generator in a simplest definition is the combination of the electric motor and an engine man together to form a single unit for instance what i mean is that is a combination of engine this is an engine as you can see this place is an engine and this is electric motor not electric motor sorry this general electric motor so the two the two are man together the electric motor and the an engine are man together to form a single unit and in fuel generator we have the tank this is the tank the tank function is to store fuel and this is the fuel that is being used to lubricate the engine that enables the engine to run smoothly without uh, a crash that is here yeah, about fuel generator now if we move to the next slide now we have what we call fuelless or zero petrol generator in the zero petrol generator here we have two common components these components are the alternator and the electric motor the alternator is the one that generates light the electric motor is the one that spins the alternator so it helps to rotate you know many people get confused about the two they thought that the the uh, i've heard see the comment from some of my uh, subscribers say that how does it work you know it's very simple you see the other network function is just to generate light and if you have access to 
any device, whether a human being who has the ability to turn the alternator in a very high speed or high frequency, you know that it can still give you light. It is not the oil in the engine that make the alternator generate light, but it's the speed of rotation, the rate at which it rotates, is what that make the alternator to generate light. So don't miss the two. And oh, without the oil, therefore you cannot generate light. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. It's not. The oil is only help in duplicating the engine. It helps in duplicating the engine so that the engine will not knock. So that is where the oil comes. That is why, if you look at this, the next video you discover that is the different function. Then let me just go further. This is alternator. Talk about alternator. This alternator from this or what? I say it's alternator. Alternator here just run. Its function is to just rotate, it gener generate light. The more it rotates, the more light comes. If the rotation is low, if the speed of rotation is low, you're going to have low current. But if the rotation is very high, you're going to have a full voltage as, as, as high as possible. So that is the function of rotator. You know, if you see, then you see how it, how it works. When well, in the next one of the videos, you're going to know much about rotator. But in this video, we're talking about conversion of uh, battery generator to uh, fuel generator. So we're not talking about much about rotator, but I'm going to discuss more about it. But watch, I want you to know that the function of rotator here is to generate light, and it generates light by spinning, when rotating, when it's being rotated in high speed in high frequency you see that you are going to have light now let's move to the next slide which is very important here is the next slide now this is the electric motor many of you may not know what electric motor is all about electric motor function is just to rotate does not need light don't it's because the two look alike the two have have both a, a an iron pointed out so many people would think that this is a, a or generator but it's not this is electric motor the electric motor function is just to rotate to, to generate light just to sorry just to rotate and it's being combined with the generator to generate to generate light the electric motor function is just to spin is to rotate the generator and when the generator is being rotated in high speed automatically you're going to have light so that is the function of electric motor now we go further to the next slide now now this is how alternator and electric motor work now if you observe in this, in this image you saw that this is the generator and this is the electric motor now the two of them are joined together with is what we call i call join this is join this this ion join this and this now when these two are joined together Automatically, if this electric motor is plugged to a power source, the light, this the electric motor will spin, will rotate in a very high speed. And when you have high speed, it's it will help to also rotate the the generator, which enable it to give light. So when this rotates, it, the, uh, the the rotation of this one affects this one, affects the generator, and by so doing. The generator which need light will bring out light because what generator needs on its own just to rotate. That is why if a human being I've said earlier that if you have the power to rotate this engine generator in a very high speed, you can still have light without no problem. Because it does not need it does not need oil, it does not need any reaction apart from to, to rotate, it does not even electric, it does not even need your electric to block electric and electric before you get it. No, you just need something that can turn it, and that is what we're talking about now. So, when two, the two are combined together, it's not a carry light comes out. Now, let's go to the next slide, which is very important. Now, uh, how do you convert the the uh, fuel generator into fuel generator. How do you combine? How do you, how do you do that? What are the procedure for you to do that? If you want to, I want to convert my generator, which I've been using fuel, into a zero percent fuel. Right? I don't want to use fuel on it again. How do I do it? Now, this is the procedure you have to use. Now, first, you have to remove the top fuel tank. 
you have to remove the fourth death for a tank. You have seen you have seen in the first slide there, in number one slide here, that which I showed before here, that you know it comes with this a, a tank, it is a tank like this. This is a normal fuel generator with a tank. Now, for you to convert it to this form, you have to remove the tank first. When you remove the tank now, you have the space for you to now do the conversion. Now, first thing you remove the tank is the tank. You remove the tank now. When you remove the tank, as this now, the next thing you're going to do is to is to do what is to separate the the engine from the electric motor. Sorry, from the from the generator. You have to supply is why I have to bring this image. This two image uh, is combined. This is the engine, this is the generator. Now the two are just combined to form one single unit, which means that when you put through here, the the the, the it, it runs. When it runs, when it turns, it spins this and this brings that's why the two this is the generator and this is the tree and this is the the mechanical aspect of it, the mechanical section. So when this one is being removed, the engine is being removed, and this one is removed, you are going to have that we call two different units. That's why I say what I say, I say okay, separate the mechanical section from the electrical section. This requires a completion of the four mechanical aspect from the alternator. That is remove this one and allow this one to be separated. As this one is out, this one out. So they are now in two different units. When you do that now, you go to the next slide. The next slide now, after you separate it now, then you come now and combine. You combine the electric motor as I say fix or mount the electric motor with the alternator. What you do, you have you then add, remove after you remove the engine out, you fix the electric motor into the alternator. That is why I'm talking about fix it together. When you fix it together with a screw, you have to tie them together. But if you don't have idea on how to tie it, you have to call a mechanic who help you do it because it's, you need a technical. You need something to do with technicality. So if you don't know how to do it, consult a yeah, mechanic. Just meet a mechanic. You will lose it. You separate it just about You separate it like this. When you separate it like this, you move this one, remove this one. Then you, you keep this engine aspect and then add electric motor on this area. You're going to have what I'm talking about. You're going to have something like this. When you combine like this now, when you do that now, the next you're going to do is to now plug this. I say using batteries and inverter if you wish to. If you have to now plug this, this this is the negative and this positive. You plug it to a battery source. This this one is a battery source because it uses this uh, this is a battery is direct uses direct current. But there are some there's a battery motor that use a AC current. So if you use AC current, you don't need. You need to apply inverter in this uh, batteries to you know, convert it. This because the batteries in DC DC current. If you refer to one of my videos I produced bef before, you will know you know about DC current and AC current. Now the batteries now is uh, have DC current, so you cannot turn a direct a AC current. So you will need to apply inverter but this one now is using a dc current because it's a electric motor that uses dc current that's why it doesn't require any inverter here that's why you see this place but now if you plug this into the negative and because it's positive it's spin when it's spin the light generally you see this bulb is shining now because it's spinning as it's spinning the light shows shows so this is the simplest way for you to do the conversion and i believe many of you who want to do it you can do it but give me a comment subscribe to my channel give my comment because i'm going to also produce a practical form of this video i'm going to bring out the practical this is a theoretical aspect of it just to understand how it works in the next video i'm going to do i'm going to show you the practical aspect thank you for watching and